complexion. So, remember that dead plant that was growing a little bit because I put some Ormus on it? I'm about 5'5", five, five, maybe 5'6". Five, this is how big the plant has gotten. Oh my god, my plant is such a spoiled brat. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what Ormus will do in a month. It's almost as tall as me. It's probably around maybe I'm five five. Maybe that's like three and a half feet tall. And it was only about like that big before. And yeah, not even one month of Ormus will do this for your awesome plant. So I'm also planting some kiwi, some ginger, some cumin root. I just planted these and then I just planted some garlic. I planted my avocado tree, cilantro. I planted, you can see the seed is splitting, a mango tree. My other mango tree, actually, the root and the stem split, so I have to throw it out and start again. And then I have to do today, I actually have to repot these babies of lettuce because they're, the seedlings are just like getting a little bit too big and I have to do it anyway, so yeah. And today I'm going to be planting some potatoes as well and I'm gonna see what else I want to do so <laughs> I'm just like really obsessed with planting and I feel that being a vegan isn't enough we have to plant our own food and just break away from the consumerist society that we've created and we need to just start doing things on our own, you know? Like, being a vegan isn't enough, man. You gotta do your own work, you gotta plant your own food, and you have to consume and buy as little as possible. All this stuff, I'm actually making um, some compost, some organic compost for this stuff, and it's gonna be all my scraps, so nothing is gonna be going to waste. I reuse all of my water bottles when I used to buy water bottles and I don't buy them anymore because I make my own alkaline water. And a lot of people think I'm crazy because these are really rusty fire escapes, but I don't care. <laughs>